When the movie starts we see a little kid, who is actually an orphan as his parents passed away recently in a car accident. He starts to lead a sorrowful life. So he comes to his grandmother and his name is Charlie. But he used to feel dejected as his parents were missing. His grandmother was very affectionate and kind-hearted. She used to take excellent care of Charlie. But he was not acclimatizing to that place. Her grandmother says to him that she will bring a pet to him. And says play and befriend it. Just share your secrets with it. His grandmother gifts him a mouse within a few days. He was very excited, having that rat. He used to spend most of his time with it. He always says to her, Grandmother. Mice lead their life enjoying. They jump and play in their cages. One day, while he was playing with that mouse in his room. A witch is seen staring at him from outside. That witch's looks were very weird. Grandmother's condition also begins to worsen along with it. She recovers after some time. She says to him, come on my son. Let's walk outside. Then they move to a store for shopping. When he goes a little far from his grandmother a lady approaches him. She was a witch in reality. She offers chocolate to Charlie, she was the same witch who was staring at their house on that day. She says to Charlie, dear child. Come here. She was bewitching him. That witch also had a mysterious snake. Meanwhile, grandmother calls him as they were getting late. Hearing it, he runs towards her. And that witch also disappears from there. When they come to the house, he tells to her grandmother that a lady in the store was talking to him very strangely. She was giving him chocolate forcefully. And she was saying, listen to me. She had also a snake. So his grandmother says to him, my son. She is a witch. We always forbid you to eat anything or take it from strangers. It is quite possible that someone has drugged it. Above all, why will the thing be taken to eat if she was a witch? She will surely allure you. I will tell you about my childhood experience. When I was at the age of 10 years. I also had a friend. We were going somewhere. Suddenly, my friend vanished from there, while we were walking. A strange lady was offering her chocolate when I saw her. That lady was a witch. It is better to say that she was the leader of witches. So I left that place, taking my friend. The next day, when my mother was dressing my hair. I witnessed before my eyes that my friend transformed into a chicken. It means that witch had cursed her. It is also possible that there was something in that chocolate which she ate. So I keep away myself from the witches since my childhood. Next time, keep away from them, not taking anything. Inform me as someone comes to you. Charlie's grandmother tells him, my son. We will soon leave this place. Because our house has come in the eyes of the witches. And she attacks poor people first. There was a five-star hotel ahead of their house. Grandmother's cousin was an executive chef of that hotel. She also had a good relationship with the hotel manager. So he reserves a small room for her. It means the hotel manager was a good-hearted man. Grandmother and Charlie shift into that hotel. They have the freedom to go anywhere they wanted. But strange happenings occur there, there we see many witches entering that hotel, as there was a gathering of witches and they also have a grand dinner after the meeting. All the witches were very stylish. They meet the manager after arriving there. They say to him, you know who we are. Immediately arrange a hall for our gathering. Actually, their plan is to abduct all the children or offer them chocolates containing the magic potion. After eating it, all the kids will be turned into animals. Because kids are very rude according to them. And they don't deserve to exist in this world. Now they do not have much time to scrutinize the rude children, so they have to victimize all the children. During the night Charlie is seen talking with his grandmother. It is also raining outside. He asks his grandmother, how do the witches look? His grandmother tells him that their fingers are very long. And their nails are filthy. As a result they put gloves on their hands. They are also bald, so they use wigs or big hats. Hearing these facts, Charlie becomes very terrified as the storm also broke out. Now in the morning, Charlie looks very unhappy. So he goes to the grand hall to play with his mouse. At the same time, all the witches enter the room for a gathering. Sensing fear, 
Charlie hides there. Grant High which starts to sniff him. But she finds him nowhere. So she starts her meeting. Now all witches were seated on their chairs. And there we see her before them. She shows them a potion and refers to it as a magical potion. If we pour a single drop of it into candy or chocolate, that candy will transform the kids into animals when they consume it. She starts to tell more details about it. Suddenly she smells Charlie again. She begins to sniff the stage. Her nose and face were looking very disgusting and ridiculous while she was sniffing. As she was the Grand High Witch, she rips the stage aside, lifting it. But there is no one under the stage. But there we see a ventilator window. There she encounters Charlie. She starts to capture him. Suddenly a bulky kid named Bruno arrives there. He is the son of a guest. All witches capture him, moving towards him. He was very fond of eating. So witches feel very happy after seeing him. As they can entrap him easily. And they offer him the same chocolate that was laced with that potion. Bruno transforms into a little mouse after eating that chocolate. Now witches begin to fear seeing that mouse. And they try to crush that mouse under their high-heeled shoes. Then, Charlie's pet mouse Daisy comes out from the ventilator window and saves Bruno. But Charlie had committed a great mistake by doing this. Now all the witches see him and the head which captures him. Then they apply a single drop of that magical liquid into his ear. As a result, he is also turned into a mouse. Now the three of them Charlie, Bruno and Daisy immediately run from their sensing danger. Then it is revealed here that the pet mouse of Charlie was also a little girl. A witch transformed her into a doe, offering her chocolate. A good bond of friendship creates between those three. And they say that we will surely take revenge on these witches. Charlie immediately goes to his grandmother and he tells her that. Witches had transformed them into mice. She says. Hell with these witches. They turned my kids into mice. I will definitely take revenge on them. Now Charlie tells his grandmother. That the balcony where these witches are residing. Is visible from our balcony. Then grandmother makes a plan and she says, I am knitting a garment. I will descend it, putting you in it. After stealing the magical liquid I will pull you up. And reform you. She does the same. Grandmother puts her grandson Charlie into that garment. Then she starts to descend it. Charlie is scared of that witch but luckily she is not there. He somehow grabs the potion and enters the pouch. While she was pulling that pouch. That witch sees that his grandmother is pulling up that pouch. And she catches the garment firmly. Then grandmother says. Leave it. It dropped down by me while I was knitting the garment as a result I am pulling up again. That witch says, how is it possible? When she was about to check the pouch. Suddenly, the manager approaches her, as a result, she leaves that garment. Now the grandmother has that potion. She pours the liquid into a plate and places the three mice one by one. That magical liquid does not give any result. As that potion could transform the human into an animal not an animal into human beings. Charlie says, Grandmother, we cannot be recovered. We shall mix that potion in the soup which is going to be served to the witches. By the way, you can easily move to the kitchen. Grandmother applauses those kids for giving a great idea. Then she moves to the kitchen, taking those three mice into her bag to the place where the soup for witches is being prepared. And later that mouse mixes that potion into it. Then the hotel manager encounters grandmother while she was doing this act. He asks, are these mice yours? They should not be taken into the kitchen if these are your pets. You have committed a filthy act. Then grandmother says, these are not my mice, check everything. Grandmother has hidden those mice in the corner of her bag. The manager does not find the mice anywhere even after checking her room and luggage. So she feels very embarrassed. Then grandmother says, I will complain against you. How did you check the room without any reason? Now police will seal your hotel. The manager gets scared and says, Oh lady. Calm down. I apologize to you. You may have dinner on my part. 
Then grandmother succeeds in her plan, in return she gets free dinner to eat. Then the dinner time of those witches also approaches. That soup was prepared exclusively for them only. And the good thing was that they will be turned into mice after consuming that soup. All witches were transformed into mice when they consumed the soup. The grandmother was feeling very happy, witnessing them. And it was also giving a pleasurable sight. Grandmother herself and all the hotel workers began to kill mice. But unfortunately, Grand High Witch did not taste the soup. As a result, she does not turn into the dough. Then three mice set a trap for that witch and they snap the traps onto her feet trickily. As a result that witch begins to shout with pain, then they instantly pour that potion into her mouth. Now she also transforms into a bigger dough than other mouses. And they close her with a glass cup. The grandmother then keeps that cat as a vigil in front of that glass. And who knows, that cat may eat or kill that mouse by attacking it. Now, the grandmother looks very excited, she puts the three mice into her bag. She comes out of that hotel and gives generous tips to workers, as she has no threat of the witches. She could also spend a peaceful life in her house. Outside the hotel, we see Bruno's parents are very worried about him as they have not seen him for a while. But, his mother is very indecent. She never used to love his son. And when her son is talking in a mouse voice, she feels very scared and also says that she doesn't want to take that mouse. That mouse also says, all right. I got my friends. I will stay with them permanently. Now, grandmother brings three of them along with her. And she offers them food. They were very happy with their lives and their new friends. And grandmother used to take up most care.